Hello, I'm Noah Meyerowitz from Sproutman, and today I'm going to show you the Slow Star Juicer and how to make a delicious pineapple juice. Before we get started, I want to show you the parts of this juicer and do a little disassembly and reassembly to show you how simple it really is. This is the pusher, which as you'll see, is often not needed because of the blade design in this juicer. This is the lid. This is the auger. Now, this is a unique auger to the Slow Star. Uh, it has a duo chopping set up here, which effectively increases the torque of this juicer, which makes it the fastest slow juicer available today. This is the all-important screen. Without this, we wouldn't have any juice. We would have a mashup of pureed fruits and vegetables. Anyway, the screen is essential to actually making juice. So, and this is the screen. This is the uh, paddle set up here that helps to mix the juice in the basin. And that is this. This is the base of the juicer. And this has two unique features. The first is a stopper in the end, so no juice spills out on the counter when we're done making it. And it has this stopper here. Now, what this stopper does is effectively like the knob on the end of a twin gear or single gear horizontal juicer. It controls how much pulp comes out and how much pulp, like build, or the, the pressure that the pulp is uh, building against. So, um, for instance, if you're juicing something like pineapple, which we're going to do today, you may choose to actually undo this so it doesn't have so much resistance and therefore will minimize any risk of a backup. However, we're going to try to get the most juice from the fiber as possible. We're going to close it and if we do get backup, so be it. So the reassembly is really simple. This places on the juicer, it latches springs into place. The uh, screen goes inside the paddle. Then you line up the white dot here with the white dot on the base. That's in. The auger slides right down. A little twist latches it. The top goes on and it twists. And now this is ready to go. Here's what else comes with the juicer. Two juice carafes, they both have measuring um, numbers on the side, so you can tell how much juice is coming out. The plunger, which we already have seen. This handy toothbrush, which is not for brushing my teeth, but is actually for cleaning the screen of the juicer. It's also got this nice um, sharper end, which is good for scraping out of the smaller crevices, and the small bristles on the end. And then this is the mincing attachment. And with the mincing attachment, the Slow Star becomes a two-in-one machine. Uh, this would allow you to take those older frozen, uh, those older bananas, freeze them, and then make a banana ice cream uh, out of that. Let's get started with the juicing process. So I got really excited before the video and started to slice up the pineapple, and then I stopped uh, deciding that maybe I wanted to show you how I slice a pineapple. So I take the top off first. Then, step number two is to start to get rid of a little bit of the skin. There. We shall now proceed with the process of Hugo de Piña. Slice the pineapple in half. Slice the pineapple into quarters. Continue slicing to the point where it will fit through the chute. This should all fit in pretty well. Um, this recipe calls for a single Granny Smith apple, and then an entire pineapple. And I really love the Granny Smith because it helps to cut a lot of the sweetness of the pineapple. Let's get started with the juicing process. Um, we demoed this Slow Star in Manhattan a few days ago, and one of the things that people remarked at was how quiet the unit is. They actually didn't even notice it was on most of the time. So, Turning it on is, of course, the first step. And then we begin the feeding process. Now, I actually don't need to use the plunger to push it in. Because of the gear design, it pulls it right through. So I'm going to let a little bit of the juice build up in here before I open the spout, uh, because I kind of think it's more fun that way. 
Anyway, we feed. And I do a mixture of the Granny Smith and a mixture of the pineapple. I alternate. That way, the less, um, the less fibrous apple helps the pineapple move through with a little bit of more ease. So um, anyway, as you see, no pushing is really needed. And the paddles here are helping to mix the juice together, which is also a really nice um, function. Now one of the good things about this juicer is it spins really slowly. That doesn't really make the juicing process slow, but what that means is that there's no friction generated during the juicing process and with no friction means no heat and with no heat no nutrient degradation, no loss of flavor, and very little oxidation if any. So I'm going to open it up here and we're going to have like a crazy fountain of juice. <laughs> it's always kind of fun to do that, I think. I get impatient sometimes and uh, sometimes I tend to juice faster than I should and that's what I'm going to do right now and we're going to see if the slow star can handle that with the pineapple. Basically, I'm going to go as fast as I can and see how it holds up. Now, the only thing that I think may happen is that we may get some backup from the pineapple, um, which has happened to me before with other juicers, and may happen here. I'm just juicing a little bit faster than it can chew, but actually there's very little backup happening at all. Um, <laughs> there's none at the moment, so that's impressive, like shocking. Oh, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. So a little bit just came out of the spout there. Um, and that's just because I'm going so fast that the juicer hasn't had a chance to catch up. So look at that. We're just filling that carafe perfectly. Before I turn off the juicer, um, I'm going to let it continue here because I fed so fast there, it's still finding a lot of juice, still kind of playing catch up. But that was really impressive. Certainly survived that test. Also, uh, an, an important indicator of a good juicer is how dry the pulp is. And this pulp is very dry to the touch. Um, not that I'm an effective juicer here, but you know there are literally some juicers where I could squeeze the pulp and get more juice out. And uh, that's not happening. I'm just making a mess. So. <laughs> What that means is that all the juice that can be extracted from that is being extracted and the slow star is doing an excellent job. And uh, now to avoid any extra spillage, I will close this spout. And that's that. So we um, come down to the all important cleaning process. And uh, so I'm going to get that started. Okay, so the cleaning process is complete, and as you saw, it wasn't too difficult at all. Um, maybe a sturdier brush, a bigger brush would be helpful if you have one, a standard kitchen brush, just for some of those larger areas on the screen. But otherwise, with what's included with the Slow Star, you can clean it pretty quickly. And uh, so at this point, I guess we'll pour the juice. This is the exciting part. <laughs> it's okay, it's really, clean juice and it's clean food so you can't really make such a big mess I guess. <laughs> anyway, it's really delicious juice. So I guess that concludes my quick use demo of the Slow Star juicer by TriVest. Uh, I really do like this juicer. I use it a lot. Actually in January, Ari 
uh, and I participated in a juice fast which we hosted and Ari used the Slow Star throughout the entire week as his daily juicer, making three juices a day from it. Um, because he was traveling, it's really the most convenient juicer to bring along on the road and it's the most versatile. Not only can you make the fruits like I just did, but you can also juice leafy greens and collards like Swiss chard, which Ari particularly likes, uh, and fennel. And it even does wheatgrass, although sometimes the grass will get tangled around that auger. So it's certainly not the ideal juicer for wheatgrass. But it's a very versatile juicer and it, it comes in at a really good budget-friendly price for a juicer of this quality. It comes with a 10-year warranty too and TriBest is a reputable company. This is not a new juicer. Um, it's not a new revolutionary design, but it's a really well executed design of a tried and true juicer. The Fruit Star before this coming from a company that's been making juicers for 30 years. So anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a little thumbs up underneath. If you want to hear from me again, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you are interested in the Slow Star Juicer, visit Sproutman.com for exclusive savings off any of the products that you've seen in the videos here, especially for you viewers. Thanks for watching and do your good health. What a wonderful world